everybody. Uh, we are obviously in the car. We, we are? Her, you yeah, sure? I'm pretty sure. Mm, I look I look exhausted, but you know. Um, the kids recently showed us some pictures. They went to a place called the Wooden Shoe in Woodburn. It's a tulip farm. And the pictures were so pretty. And Bob and I have time today. He's off for the next week. So we are going to go drive down to Woodburn and we're going to go see the tulip farm. Besides, it's Sunday. So. It's Sunday, yeah. So we're going to bring you with us and we'll see what we can find. I'll be back. Probably tulips. Probably tulips. Probably lots tulips. of tulips, lot of, I'm guessing. A lot of tulips. A lot of I'm tulips. saying lots. Lots. All right, I'll be we back. We tried to get into the tulip farm, but the tickets are sold out for today. It's what we get for trying to go on Sunday. So we might try again during the week. But because we're down here, we're going to go over to Canby and we're going to go look around and maybe check some stuff out. And if I can talk Mr. into it, hit a thrift store or two. We'll see. see and we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what we can see. Go on a drive. Go on, go on a drive. I love a good drive. Go somewhere you haven't been before. Yeah. All right. I'll be back. day off by going to DMV and taking care of paperwork and when you own a bunch of old cars nothing is new and you're trying to get one into the shop to have work done on it that's going to be the day that it doesn't start. Adrian doesn't want to start this morning her battery's dead so I'm in Mitzi we're trying to jump start that car Subi's right there yeah anyway wasn't how we intended to spend the day but Let's just hope we don't have to tow Adrian to the shop. I'll be back. Yes, we're going on a walk. It's been raining on and off all day. I don't think it's a good day to go to the tulip farm. Plus it took us a lot longer to drop off the Barracuda at the workshop than we thought it would, because she wouldn't start. But anyway, we're gonna go get some steps in. Tomorrow, we have a little bit of a busy day, but I think I should say I have a little bit of a busy day, but I think once Bob's morning is over, he may go over and spend some time with grandson, Junior. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Maybe, and have lunch with the kids. Or I was even thinking he could talk the kids into bringing Junior to our house. We could babysit while they go out to lunch. I don't think that's gonna happen, no. but anyway. All right. He is only two and a half weeks old, so, you know. All right, I'm gonna go get some steps. I'll be back. Okay, so have I vlogged yet today? Oh, I'm not even sure. So, um, what time is it? It's 12.39. I got the vlog edited and it's rendering right now and then I'll get it loaded up real quick to YouTube. Um, Bob is off at the kids' house, bringing them some lunch and visiting with grandson, Junior. And um, our friend and cleaning lady, Letty, is downstairs helping us out because the house is a little messy. I am just here hanging out at home. I've been doing some cleaning. I rearranged the art room closet. 
which I didn't film any of, but I'm going to talk about it in the next Fixing the Flow video. I also cleaned out the weird closet out in the hallway outside the art room. Um, cleaned off the table. I now have... hanging space for things that need to be upcycled. And that that actually works for me. Um, that doesn't mean I can go buy, you know, five million things to upcycle. But I mean, I like to have a place rather than just a big pile to dump them in. Um, other than that, it's just a chill morning. Uh, Mr. Bob had an appointment this morning, a conference call that went well. And um, as far as what we're doing tonight, I'm not exactly sure. I'd like to go back to Value Village, but Bob isn't as into thrifting as I am. I did forget to look at a couple sections when I was there last time because I found so many good clothing pieces. I'd kind of like some more jeans. So I don't know. We'll see. Tomorrow we're driving up to my dad's to help him with some auto repair work. And by we, I mean Bob. I mean, I'm going with him, but I'm not helping with auto work. So I don't know what I'll do with myself while we're there, but I'll figure out something. All right, that's it for the minute. I'm going to sit and have some water while the computer does its thing. And I'll be back. It's Wednesday morning, 8.47 a.m. And we are headed north to go to my dad's house so Bob can help him with some uh, auto... Tune up, a tune up automotive repair yep. situation. What am I going to do while we're there? No idea. Um, maybe go thrifting. I don't know. We'll see. I'll be back. few minutes yeah yeah doesn't look like anything's moving yet interesting and yeah my hair is just like we're gonna just let it do what it wants I'll be back the Centralia Washington Goodwill go there if you're in the area oh my god do they have great prices on things I got so much stuff I don't need to thrift for materials to make anything with for like at least a month. And some of the things I bought were $1.79. That's right, $1.79. Like the prices and selection were the exact opposite of the thrift store I was at the other day in Canby. I mean, holy cow. So next time I'm up here visiting my dad, I'm gonna have to make time to come here because yeah. All right, let's head back to the house before the two guys wonder what I've been up to. Not that they should be surprised. I'll be back. Finishing up with the car, then we're gonna go get some lunch and head back towards home. And Bob's hot rod, his Barracuda is ready already. We only dropped it off Monday. So if we can get back into the area by before five, then we'll take that up. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys a whole bunch pile. So I found four sewing patterns. A variation of these pants might be nice, at least for around the house pants. On this, this, this is cute, and this actually I might make out of this bed sheet. That's isn't that huge? And then I found this. They all appear to be complete and uncut. This bed sheet is a queen bed sheet. I found this blouse actually at the last minute when I was on the way to the register. I found this giant men's pink shirt, which I have a plan for. Some more, two, two more pair of blue jeans. I found this t-shirt, which I don't need to do anything to. I just need to wash it. I found this, this shirt dress thing. Now, if it fits, this might be my new mannequin cover. We'll see. But I also found this one, which could work. And whatever one I don't use for the mannequin will become a t-shirt. I found this, which would be a cute blouse. Found this, which would be a cute t-shirt. And this, 
which has got a skirt on it. It's way too big for me. But if I do it right, I could make it into a skirt that fits me and it's already gathered and it has pockets. So we'll have to work on that. Plus my dad gave me three pairs of his old blue jeans. Anyway, that's it for the minute. I'm gonna put everything into some kind of shopping bag so it's easy to get in the house when we get home and I'll be back. I should tell you all, so I just got home, but this is how I've been dressed all day today. I mean, I gotta say, I love it. It's so comfortable and it has pockets. And yep, I took one of my hip pockets and I put it on a strap. So I had that on, but yeah, anyway, so cute and so comfy. And yes, we are. <laughs> so we are going to head out this morning. It's just about nine o'clock. Yep. We're going to go to the beach for the day, or well, at least part of the day. Mr. Bob has a Masonic Lodge meeting tonight, so we have to head back this way by like three or four o'clock. Um, but we're going to go spend a majority of the day at the beach, do some walking, do some shopping, get some food, all the things. So I'll take some video where I can and pictures, and I'll be back. Yep. Already stopped for coffee, visited my little favorite tie-dye shop. But now that I'm sewing, everything is so expensive. So I did get some ideas for designs though. I'm gonna have to sketch out or go back and sneak pictures of or something. But what I need your all help with, a source for tie-dye fabric, stuff that's nice and drapey, not your standard cotton. So if you have a source, let me know. All right, we're gonna go get some steps in. I'll be back. Me to be in Seaside and find a thrift shop, thrift shop and then find a whole bunch of stuff including some just plain white cotton sheets, which I was looking for to use for lining on some things. So that was all good. Now we're gonna go walk the promenade and try to find Mr. Bob a souvenir and uh, get some lunch. So yeah, I'll be back. just before 10 a.m. on Friday. I almost said Saturday. It's Friday. Friday the 28th, I think. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, anyway, yes, we're in the car again. We've been in the car a lot this week. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it is. Anyway, we're gonna go run some errands a day earlier than usual because Mr. Bob is off and get stuff for dinner tonight, but also get the rest of our food for the week and then we don't have to do it tomorrow. And if Mr. Bob wants, he can fiddle with one of his cars, all the cars, whatever. Wash them. Wash them, drive them, all the things. So anyway, maybe I'll get some sewing done, maybe. So we'll see. All right, in the meantime, we're gonna go get some errands done and I'll be back. We're home, we've had lunch. Why do I feel like I just wanna take a nap? <laughs> um, anyway, I got some hangers so I can finally hang everything up that I've been thrifting for the last couple of days. And I'm going to also do a couple alterations on this shirt that we've already done um, because after trying to style it, yeah, these little sleeve puffy cap things, they need to go. It needs to be sleeveless. I should have listened to my instincts uh, in the first place. So I need to sit and seam rip it. So it's gotta go back up in the closet. Um, Anyway, I did pick up these two garments yes, uh, a couple of days ago when I was at my dad's, Wednesday. 
I'm thinking of using one of them to make a cover for my dress form. So I'm not gonna do it right now, but what do you guys think? Rainbow tie-dye, pink tie-dye? Let me know in the comments below. Also, I think our dress form needs a name. So I'd love to have your suggestions for that. I'm also, when I do the cover, I'm gonna do matching or contrasting fabric. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a proper pin cushion, which should be in this slot right here, <laughs> instead of this thing, and actually glue it in, because this keeps coming out. And I don't think, there doesn't appear to be any screw holes or anything down there, so um, yeah, anyway. All right. <sighs> I'd love to hear your thoughts. And in the meantime, I am going to uh, hang everything up. Let's get started. And I do have a project that I wanna do for the closet where the garments for upcycling are gonna be hanging. Um, we need a ba basket or a bin for the sort of larger scraps that don't need to go in the fabric stash storage over here, but that are things that I wanna use up um and or or have intentions for making things out of but don't need to be hung up for instance like the pile of blue jeans so anyway i have an idea but let's clear i gotta do something about this first all right i'll be back We're going to make a couple of canvas bin bag things to store some upcycled materials that are in progress but that I'm not going to hang up um, because I've had such such success the last couple of days thrifting I have a lot of projects I don't need to thrift for a while anyway I wanted a couple of bins to put things like I said the blue jeans in I have some canvas and we're gonna use what I have. Now, if you don't have a thick heavyweight fabric, you could use anything, but if it's a thin fabric, you're gonna to wanna to line it and interface it. Um, because this is canvas, I don't have to do that because it's pretty thick. I mean, I could still, but I don't, it doesn't need to stand up by itself. It can be floppy, I don't care. Um, it's gonna be full of stuff anyway, I can guarantee you. It's not gonna be a problem. I'm also, I've also got some rope from Dollar Tree we're gonna use for the handles. And um, yeah, so I've got these two rectangles of canvas. Um, they're about 30 inches by 40. I fold them on the 40 and we are going to sew both sides here, on, down on both sides. So I've got two of them. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. Use a kind of short stitch length and maybe even sew it twice if what you're gonna put in these is gonna be heavy. It's not a bad idea. All right, you also can do something fancy, fancy like French seams or felt seams or something like that. I'm lazy, so that's not gonna happen. All right, I'll be back. Once you have that done, it's time to make the bottom. So you're gonna take the seam and the, fo the fold, it's the bottom of the bag that you just made and you're gonna fold them back on each other like this. And then you're gonna sew across. So I have to figure out how much I wanna sew. How big do I want the, this is gonna give you a rectangle on the bottom of the bag. I don't know where I put my pins. Where did I put, oh, hold on. By the sewing machine, that's why I can't find them. Okay, so I'm gonna pin this one and then we're gonna go do the other side. So the more I do it, the wider the bottom of the bag will be. 
And you just kind of have to play with it and see what kind of proportions you get. I think I want it to be more of a square. So come down a lot more. Do this one and just keep fiddling with it until you get it like right until you get what you want and then once you get something you want if you're doing more than one bag like me once you get something you like then you ow, then you can do the other one see what I mean this is canvas and this is floppy yeah, I think that's good. So now I'm going to try to draw a straight line. Oh, my table is such a mess. Okay. So. making sure things are square and level. Once I do one, then I can do the rest. So I'll be back. Okay, then what we're gonna do is take the rope. Once our bag is together, we're gonna do, start about four inches from one of the seams. Now this rope is taped on the end so it doesn't unravel. For the moment, leave that and start about, I don't know, eight inches or so from that end. We're gonna wrap the rope in the canvas. This is about, I don't know, inch and a half or two inches of canvas all around the top pin. Tuck some more in. We're, we're folding it to the outside and pin. You could be way more precise than this than I'm doing. Of course, I chose a day when it's like 80 degrees up here to do this, but that's okay. So then we're going to, when we get to the other side seam, we're going to tuck this in, leave about four inches or so from the seam, put a pin here. Then we're going to leave the rope dangling, fold this down, put another pin here. Do the same thing on the other side. Bring this rope up, leave a loop like that. That's gonna later be your handle. Just make sure it's kind of even. Let's see, I need to move that pin just a little bit. Yeah. Keep going until you get to the side that you started on. Adjust these pins, they're not quite right. Okay, now you could do this now or you could do it later, but I have the two taped ends. I'm going to tie them in a very tight knot. Pull it, 
split good. Okay. And then you can take the tape off and let it unravel. Maybe. There we go. Okay. So now you have two handles, right? We're just going to go sew, ow, sew this down right about where the pins are. So I'm going to do that to both of them and I'll be back. I got to stop sticking myself with the pins. Okay, now we have two canvas bins. So I'm going to fill one up with leftovers of already upcycled projects and or thrifted fabrics and things that I want to do something further with. Or small things that um, can't be hung up and don't need to be over in the bins over there. Like I have all these handkerchiefs. I really want to make a kimono out of them. I want to sew them all together. And I have little pieces of hand embroidered doilies and things. I have, I keep finding sheets to um, upcycle and I have all these, I keep finding new sheets and they come in these fabric bags. So that has to go in here and then some linen. So, and then I have this and it can go in the bottom of the closet. And then we have this one, which is just going to be jeans. I bought two pair of jeans and then my dad gave me a bunch of his old jeans. <laughs> and then I have what's left over from some black jeans I bought to make a bag out of a while back. That there is, They were a really big pair of jeans and I kind of want to make a jacket or, or a skirt or something out of what's left. So this one's just full of jeans. have two more things to hang up. The potential dress form covers. We're just about clean. All right, I'm gonna put the leftovers away with one little piece of rope left. And, oh, I forgot these. What are these? Uh, and there's a bunch of, oh, rice, of course. So um, these are rice and flour bags, cotton ones. Obviously one of them still has rice in it because rice is falling out everywhere. that one. Oh, maybe this one. Anyway, there's something else I'd like to do something with. They're actually cute little bags. A couple of them have zippers. So let's put that in that one bin. the table uh, ready for the next project because it's hard to create when my table is too messy and the next thing we need to do is some t-shirts so but I'm not gonna do those right now I have some more patterns that I just thrifted I need to put this one together and I have I just got some more stay tape I'm working on so many knits I needed more stay tape. If you don't know what that is, it's like an interfacing, like a fusible, stretchable knit interfacing. I use it for the uh, neckline, sleeves, and hem of all the knits that I do, um, sometimes on the seams because it helps keep it from getting ravelly. And I use it, despite the fact that I have a serger, I use this in addition, so. That's it for the minute, I think. I'm hot, I'm gonna go sit down. I'll be back. Okay guys, it is Saturday. It is just about one o'clock. Okay, um, I did a bunch of sewing today. So first of all, this blouse. So you've seen this blouse in my 
um, upcycling video number one. And in the video, I talked about how I wondered if I should leave it sleeveless. Obviously I did. So after it was done, after the video was over, I tried styling it and I really just felt like the sleeves kind of stuck out. They looked like little wings, like it wasn't the thing. I also thought that because I had not taken it, taken the top of the blouse in too much, just the waist, that, <clears throat> okay, a little bit of frankness here. I, I, I'm not an A cup. I, I'm a large breasted gal and this blouse made me look even bigger breasted, which you know, in the right circumstances, maybe isn't a bad thing, but no, I mean, um, I decided to take it in. So let me show you how it turned out because it's very cute now. So I, I took a, about an inch, well, two inches in under the arm um, and then I tapered it down. So basically I did a dart to the waist on each side. So that helped this a lot. And then I took the sleeves off and I brought the shoulders in a little bit more. This is perfect. I love this. Let me show you what else I got up to. This was actually a nightgown I actually bought yesterday um, when we were, yesterday? Yeah, yesterday when we were in Seaside. Um, and I thought the fabric of the nightgown was so cute. And I brought it home and I knew right away I wanted to just make a cute little easy to wear, easy to wash tank top um, to wear this. Now I don't have the right bra or pants on because I have my bras pink. It's going to show through probably. Um, but it turned out so cute. It doesn't go with my pants at all, but, and it had this sort of hem on the, I just left it. So when I am upcycling, I tend to reuse the parts of the garment that are there, um, not to make my work smarter, not harder. Right. Um, and so, yeah, I really love this was very quick and easy. I have a tank pattern that could be a top or a dress that works really well for me, fits really well. And it's going to just be a standard for me when I'm doing these projects. But yeah, one more, hold on. Okay, this is a mashup of a couple of different patterns, um, mainly one, and I'll put the name of it here because at this moment, I don't remember the name of it. And it was a free download. And originally it was a V-neck and it had a puff sleeve, but it puff sleeve with a large cuff. Um, but I knew I could work with that. So I gave it a scoop neck, which I tend to think is more flattering on me. And I shortened the sleeves and put elastic. That is cute. Now this is originally from a dress. And so it has, it had this rounded hem. Again, work smarter, not harder. I just left it. So this is a little bit long. Yeah, there we go but that's okay and the colors in this will go with do you remember the brown pants I made a bag out of and then later also made capris out of this will go with those pants so it's cute all right and I made one more of these out of another knit dress hang on so I made this one I like this one too this is cute I could wear it with leggings I could wear it with a skirt I could wear it under overalls like it's really cute so anyway yes a bunch of sewing as usual lately. All right, I think it's time to eat lunch. I'll be back. Okay, I did it. I made myself another jean skirt. <laughs> I think two is probably plenty, but holy cow, this one's cute too. And it's blue, unlike the other one, which is gray. Look. It just needs to be washed so that all the edges is free. I love it. And it cost me about $3.50. Yeah. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Saturday evening. It's time to close the vlog. So it has been a good productive day. While I was up here sewing, Bob was downstairs working on all the cars and giving mine a good bath, which she really needed. So I really appreciate that. But in the, between Friday evening and today, I got three, well, two t-shirts done, a tank top and a jean skirt, and I altered the floral blouse. And now it's perfect. And I have a pair of actually green shorts overalls um, that I got on Amazon that it'll look really cute with. So yeah, I did pretty good. I also downloaded a couple of days ago and I just got done printing a bunch of patterns I downloaded today. I need to go get printer ink. Anyway, this one is from Mood Fabrics. And I don't, it calls for five to six yards of fabric. I don't have that much. 
I only have like three and it's like 40 inches wide, so it's not very wide, but I'm kind of wondering if we shorten this a bit, can I get this dress, oh, wait. this dress out of that 40 plus year old piece of silk I've got. I think I'm gonna have to piece the pattern together and lay it out and see if I can get any version of that out of that fabric, because that would be cute, but we'll see. And you know, the kind of pattern it is. Mm. Such silk threads everywhere. Um, you know, I'm a little bit of a busty girl, so. Um, is it gonna fit? Is it gonna be big enough? Uh, the size of the piece that I have to make, is it gonna, you know, anyway. We'll see. I don't know. But I do have it out here on the table. But it's been a lot of fun, I have to say. I'm really enjoying myself. I do have some videos still from my list that I haven't filmed yet that I need to do. My sister's coming for a couple of days. She's going to be here tomorrow. Um, and she'll be here for a couple of days. So I probably won't do any filming other than the vlog until she leaves. But as soon as she leaves, I'll just spend a day and I'll get a bunch of filming done. Um, one watercolor, one or more watercoloring, abstract watercolor videos, and then finishing, fixing the flow. I have made a few changes off camera here in the art room um, to accommodate my current bout of creativity, but we'll be discussing that in the video. So anyway, yeah, pretty excited. Well, I'm also going to be reorganizing my um, sewing patterns and I've got some envelopes coming to hold them and um, yeah, all that stuff. I'm remembering in the old days, I'm not gonna let my collection get to where it used to be. Literally, you guys, when Bob met me, it was like 2,000 patterns. Uh, we, won't, we won't go there. In fact, I threw two away today that I had either downloaded and printed or self-drafted that I don't like and don't fit me anymore. And it's easier for me to redraft something than it is to deal with them. They're gone, they're garbage. Anyway, it's been a great week. It's been a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with the thrifting that I did. My thrifting closet stash is full. Um, it may not stop me from thrifting again, but <laughs> the closet is full. I'll get a few more things done before I go again. But yeah, I'm really enjoying where things are going and having a good time while I'm doing it. How about you? I hope that, you know, this is what I want to say. So if your creative inspiration is stuck right now, you seem to be jammed up. Um, I know one thing that always helps me is, you know, doing a reorganization and a clear out of the art room. I really think going through and filming these fixing the flow videos and going through the fabric stash and some sewing stuff and cleaning off that desk and the tool desk, you know, it really helped me. And I was like, God, I should make myself some clothes. Next thing you know, I'm sewing like a maniac. So <laughs> I don't think that's an accident. I really, really don't. So, you know, give it a try. And I know for me, it seems to always work that, you know, when I'm stuck, I do some cleaning and reorganizing and then I'm inspired. So anyway, I also, you know, have a lot of questions for you guys, not to mention the clip you saw earlier about the dress form, but I have lots of fabric scraps. I really, really want to like shred them up small and use them for stuffing. But other than sitting there with a pair of scissors, like they do make fabric shredding machines. Number one, I'm not buying one. Number two, do you know how much they cost? Yeah, that's stupid. So if you all have any ideas, let me know. Anyway, I hope you've had a great week. I hope you have a great week next week and that you do what you need to to be inspired to maintain your level of creativity however you want it to be. I am not a minimalist artist. I have a lot of stuff. So, you know, and I've just added <laughs> that. So, I mean, you know, so whatever works for you, that's a good thing. Anyway, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Um, relevant links 
Ways to support the free content here on YouTube, those are all down in the video description. FYI, I probably will in the next few months be discontinuing Etsy. It's just not doing what I need it to right now and I'd rather focus on Patreon. Yes, I do have one. And um, in fact, the May um, posts in Patreon, um, they already went out early. So they're up already and live. Um, and I do do a little post in my Facebook group and it's already live too, just because it was easier than scheduling and stuff. Anyway, if you'd love to support their free con content, join Patreon, and I'd love to see you over there. Um, I could use a new video camera, so we have to work on that. But anyway, if there's anything in particular you'd like to see, leave it down below. And, you know, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. If I sound all over the place, it's because I am. <laughs> all right, see you guys next week. Bye, guys.